money to foreign countries. CKCO's Rick Gamble reports. Built with $15 million of taxpayers' money, this was supposed to house a national telecommunications center. But the dream died when a weak economy made it impossible to raise enough money to finish the project. National Party of Canada leader Mel Hurtig says it's no wonder, with almost half a million jobs lost to free trade. And as long as the free trade agreement is in effect, you'll never be able to have new investment here. Hurtig toured the ICON building with Brantford candidate Herman Cruz, who agreed to run for the party after losing the Liberal nomination. After a look around, Hurtig said the place would make a great convention center or small business area. What you should do is you should hand it over to free enterprise and you should make sure that small and medium...